Today on the podcast, we are talking about the fact that Wand.app has just raised $2.4 million to scale its AI-powered creative tool for artists. Now, if you've never seen Wave.app or used it before, it's a very cool AI tool. Essentially, you can sketch um, like something onto a pad. You can type in some prompts and then it will generate like an image of that thing, right? So like think of it like you essentially just have like a crayon. You draw a tree kind of the way you want or like a rough outline of like an elf or of a car or anything you really want and uh, then you're able to get a and then you can talk to AI and say give it a bunch of prompts to things to change and ways to do it and styles and it will generate it really really cool AI power tool so today on the podcast we're we'll gonna be diving into what the platform does what they're gonna be doing this round of funding and where we see this going in the future so let's dive into it Welcome to the AI Chat Podcast. I'm your host, Jaden Schaefer. Make sure that you go to AIbox.ai, link in the show notes, to join the waitlist for our new AI platform. We're going to be launching an incredible platform that allows you to build anything you want with workflows um, in AI. So you're able to chain together chat GPT and image generators and audio generators to make really powerful apps for your organization or you can host them on our marketplace and actually generate royalties from them. So make sure to go to AIbox.ai and join the waitlist. In addition, if you like the podcast, if you could do me a massive favor and please leave us a review on Apple or Spotify or wherever you listen to your podcast. This helps me be able to get better guests on here as they check the reviews to see how you guys are liking it. So if you could please do that, I would really, really appreciate it. Have you ever wanted to start your own podcast? I record and publish podcasts on a platform called Spotify for Podcasters, and I absolutely love it. Essentially, you can upload from your phone or computer, and it distributes to every platform that plays podcasts. They support video podcasts, and you can make money on the platform with ads or even podcast subscriptions, something that has made my life so much easier as a podcaster. So if you're in Interested, I highly recommend you give it a try. You can download the Spotify for Podcast app or go to spotify.com slash podcasters to get started on your podcast today. So WandApp is the brainchild of CEO and founder Grant Davis, and it has successfully, like I mentioned, raised $2.4 million. This is their seed funding round, and this was actually spearheaded by O'Shazny Ventures, um, and this actually started back in December of 2021. So Wand really kind of aims to resolve a significant pain point for artists by offering a personalized AI-powered creative platform that goes beyond, you know, just the constraints of text prompts. So other participants in the funding round included Betaworks, Charge Ventures, um, Long Journey, Notion Capital, 12 Below, and BDMI, along with a bunch of different angel investors, right? I think they had like Amy Wu, um, Eden Chang, uh, Jared Hetch, and Steve Martosi on there. So unlike a lot of uh, conventional AI-driven creative tools, which often, you know, leave artists restricted and dissatisfied due to their kind of limited scope of customization, I think Juan's core technology allows users to manually adjust and visualize their artistic vision. So the platform really achieves this by essentially tying together visual tools with personalization features. So Davis, in a recent interview, said, quote, we should strive towards an ideal where if an artist already has a specific vision in mind, they can use this tech to bring that exact vision to life without making any compromises. So one of Juan's distinguishing features is the illustration tool that transfers user sketchers into refined suggestions, like I was mentioning earlier. And artists really have the capability to quote unquote teach their personal AI um, really kind of what their particular style is, allowing the generated artwork to kind of mirror their own aesthetic closely. This is really, really cool, right? Because I think this is a big problem that we're not seeing solved with tools like Midjourney, where essentially it can generate an image for you or generate something for you, but it's kind of random and they're not the same um, every time. This is a really cool tool, in my opinion, for artists because they're still being able to leverage generative AI and not get left behind by that, but they're able to still put a little bit more of their vision in. Whereas like if I wanted a, a picture of an elf for like, uh, I don't know, like let's say I'm making a, a movie on one of these AI in video generators, but I needed like a character for that. So a picture that to upload into that movie generator. So I'm getting it generated on mid journey. I say like elf with green hat, blah, blah, blah. It's going to spit something out for me. And then when I need that same like character in a different position, it'll be completely different. So this tool is cool in a sense that um, you can kind of sketch out your character, it can learn your own style, um, and then you can kind of prompt it beyond that and just it gives you a lot more customization and you're able to make 
um, you know, one one it, it generated image to the next look a lot more um, cohesive, which I think is really cool. So Juan's environment supports this kind of dynamic interaction with sort of a freeform artboard where individual users or groups can iterate on their work. Again, really cool features, right? Like getting groups to be able to work on this. Imagine if like mid journey, you had like a bunch of people working on different components of like a picture. Very, very cool concept. In any case, um, I think in terms of accessibility and kind of user experience, Wand is different from typical web-focused AI creative tools. The platform runs on mobile and tablet devices and is expected to extend to desktop systems soon. So like that's super, super cool. Um, I think this cross-platform functionality kind of adds fluidity to the editing process and also accommodates a more robust graphical kind of tooling. So artists even have the option to utilize Apple Pencil for further precision in Wands illustration tools. Again, just really specific for artists and I think a really great tool. So Davis, their CEO, noted, quote, most other AI tools are more web focused. Wand focuses more than other products on um, catering uh, specifically to artists. So currently in its upcoming uh, beta phase, Wand is expected to open to the public in the upcoming months. The primary target audience really com comprises or comprises individuals and companies involved in prototyping. So you got like mood boarding and, you know, like world building. And the sectors that stand to benefit the most, I think, from Wand's offering include game studios. Definitely are going to see um, a lot of a lot of uh, great use cases there. Also, I think branding firms, um, concept artists and architects. Um, however, I will say the platform is designed to be uh, quite user friendly. Um, and so this is actually good for hobbyists as well. So for now, Wand essentially utilizes an in-app credit system to offset its GPU costs, but the company is considering adopting a subscription model similar to other creative AI services, right? Like Dolly2, Midjourney, Dream Studios, all of those just have subscription base, so they might just do that as well. But Wand intends to allocate its newly acquired funds, right? This new round of funding that they just raised towards the development of collaborative features and extending its tool set to desktop platforms. So the company is also kind of diving into research on uh, refining foundation model architectures and fine tuning techniques. So additionally, I believe Wand is exploring the possibility of allowing artists to share or monetize the AI models they've fine tuned. But given the ethical concerns around large foundational models that scrape artists' data without consent, I think Wand sees this as a stepping stone for kind of recognizing and compensating artists. So looking ahead, the company is really interested in expanding into 3D modeling, which I think would be a very big, uh, a very big use case here. And Davis believes that Wand could serve as an ideal platform to bridge the gap between 2D design and 3D models through AI. So I will say Wand is pretty cautious at the moment about rushing into these new features. Um, and they're really just kind of prioritizing security measures to uh, deter malicious actors from exploiting the platform and, and a bunch of things right now. But in the near future, I think they're going to have a lot of really exciting features they roll out um, that will be very, very useful for artists. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Forget the frustration of picking commerce platforms when you switch your business to Shopify, the global commerce platform that supercharges your selling wherever you sell. With Shopify, you'll harness the same intuitive features, trusted apps, and powerful analytics used by the world's leading brands. Sign up today for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash tech, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash tech. TIAA is on a mission. Why? Because 54% of Black Americans don't have enough savings to retire. So in collaboration with big name artists like Wyclef Jean, TIAA released Paper Right, new music inspiring a new financial future. With 100% of streaming sales going to a nonprofit that teaches students how to invest. Stream Paper Right now and help close the gap. Thank you for listening to the AI Chat Podcast. If you enjoyed the podcast, I'd appreciate it if you rate me wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you're looking for an innovative group of AI enthusiasts, make sure you check out our Discord channel and also our Facebook community. It's obviously a lot more interactive than a podcast where we can actually share software tools, prompts that we're using in everyday AI. I'll leave a link for those in the description below.